Hey guys, it's Amanda from uh, Family No Matter What. I'm cooking dinner for all of us tonight and I figured you could join me. Uh, I'm making our go-to, one of my go-to meals. Um, it's a healthy stir-fry. You can pretty much tailor it to how you like, but uh, it's really easy. It doesn't take a lot of room to prepare. Um, just basically a cutting board, the, strength, the, um, the skillet. And <laughs> Whatever that thing's called that we cook with. <laughs> um, but um, I just, you know, one thing when you think about RVing or camping, you often think of um, just unhealthy food like hot dogs, uh, you know, things that you usually eat on, you know, when you go camping, vacation can't, kind of camping. But that's not, we can't eat all, <laughs> like that all the time. So uh, we don't make foil packs all the time. Uh, that's, you know, just every so often. But um, anyway, I'm going to make a stir fry and um, it's going to be good. Uh, first, I'm going to start, I got some, uh, about a pound of chicken tenders. <laughs> Um, I already took the tendons out of them because I don't like the tendons, they just are chewy, yuck. Um, and the, the membranes, I cleaned the membranes off and I just chopped them into little, uh, just little pieces, um, like so, they're real small. Um, you can cut them however you like, really. Um, if you want bigger pieces, we have kids, so I tend to do it for the smaller bites, but, um, uh, you can use more chicken if you like. You can use beef. Um, I have also used uh, ground pork in this. Um, you can use all a, a mixture of different veg or uh, meat. So let's get started. I'm going to crank it up. Um, I use avocado oil, um, but you can use any kind of healthy oil that you prefer. I just like avocado oil. Um, as my healthy fat in it. Um, get it nice and hot. All right. While that's warming up, I'm gonna start chopping my vegetables. And you can put so much different, so many different uh, varieties of vegetables. Um, like I said, you can tailor it to your wants and dislike, you know, your likes and dislikes. Add the chicken. It's a nice hot. And oh, you do a little searing before the seasoning. Um, I have just a regular um, garlic salt. little more garlic because I don't want to over salt it. I am going to add a little bit more later but um, I'm going to let that sit. I like it to be nice golden brown to well, give some color. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm going to come back and cut some more of my veggies. I mean, we do have kids, and some people will say, well, my kids won't eat all those vegetables, and, you know, and we, we've, we've really worked hard on trying to, to get them to eat vegetable, a lot of vegetables, and so at the end, you know, you can always add some, if you eat dairy, you can um, add some sour cream to the top of it, um, or some cheese. I've mixed put some mixed cheese on there and that makes it just that much more appealing to them <laughs> but um that's if you um are you know can have dairy if not uh, i also put it's called a uh, nutritional yeast um it is really this is nu nutritional yeast right here um 
It's a lot of like vegetarians use it, but it's an alternative to cheese products. Um, it's got a nutty, cheesy flavor, um, but it's really high in um, folic acid and all your other B vitamins. Uh, it just has a ton. It even has some protein in it. Um, it just has a lot of minerals and, and good stuff in it. And you need they, the protein to get big muscles. Some people call it nooch. Some people call it nutritional yeast. But um, we love it, and the kids love it. I even make like a mac and cheese with it, um, like, and we, they call them nooch noodles. But um, and it it just kind of makes it more appealing for kids. But um, and they like it. I was just checking the chicken to see if it was um, brown. It still has uh, quite a bit more time just on that one side. That's a nice looking color chicken. I gotta turn it. Okay. Again, make sure it gets a little bit of uh, color on the other side, just a little browning. I like the golden brown, but and it adds more flavor, which is what we want. Kind of reduce it. I'm gonna take the chicken out because I don't want the chicken to get too. Um, too cooked and then it won't be tender, it won't have a lot of juice left in it. So I'm going to just take it out. I'm going to add it back in at the end. Um, it depends on what kind of meat you have, but like if I had ground pork, I'd just leave it in there. But I'm going to add a little bit more, just a tiny bit for the uh, oil for the vegetables. And then I'm going to put in my onions and start with the onions. And my mushrooms. And give that a stir. And I'm going to have to turn the fan on because it does get a little smoky sometimes. If you find that it's a little too dry uh, and, and you don't want to add more oil, um, sometimes I'll just take some water and, and just drain it in the side. And that allows the flavors from the chicken um, to goes into your veggies and you don't have to add more fat to it more oil um, and it cooks down and it still browns and, and makes your veggies good I do do that sometimes when I add the drier veggies because um, onions and mushrooms release fluid most of the time um, but your other veggies sometimes are, I tend to be a little bit drier so I'll add a little water in it through the process and but it always cooks down and it always you're always able to brown it a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and add my zucchini and broccoli smelling good darling you can uh, put your as you're cutting your vegetables in a bowl you know and set it off to the side but you know when you're cooking in this you know you're trying to limit your water you want to um, use less dishes so I'm already using one for the chicken bowl to set that aside but I can use that for dinner but um, you know the more bowls you set aside with vegetables the more you have to clean so I try to just I know it looks a little bit of a mess but I, I try to just keep it on the cutting board but um, I set aside the um, the red pepper and the red cabbage I tend to like to put the red cabbage in last because it kind of wilts down and it the color just is completely out and I just don't want to cook it down that much because it just softens I like to keep my vegetables a little bit a little bit um, crispier I guess you'd call it but um, and not so mushy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit and cook 
on one side I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to add my garlic powder and uh -oh. I'm going to add my uh, a little bit of garlic salt instead of regular salt or you can use regular salt and pepper which I have in the picture. Um, I also am going to add my parsley. I don't have a little one that I'm going to add parsley. You can you can leave that out if you want, but um, I really like smoked paprika. It gives it a really really good smoky flavor. It's one of my favorite spices to use for stuff. Um, so I'm just going to give it. If you're a measuring person, it's probably about um, I'd say a I mean, half a te teaspoon, half a teaspoon of that. If you like it really smoky, um, you can add more. In, even if you like it a little spicy, smoky and spicy, I have this chipotle chili pepper that is mm -hmm. there we go. for uh, if for more of a spice. If you don't have kids that don't like spiciness or you just uh, like your food a little bit spicier. Um, I'm going to stir that up good so everything gets coated with some spice and seasoning. And I've got it on, I've got it on seven right now. So, um, <laughs> all right, had to turn the fan off so I could talk, but, um, it's kind of crackling, popping, you know it's a little cooked on the underside. So I'm going to add in my red pepper. And I really like to use all different colors. Um, sometimes it's just what I have in the refrigerator. <laughs> Other times if I plan it out, I can plan, okay, I'm going to get three red peppers today or, or for this week. I'm going to use one and, you know, plan it out accordingly. But, um... I like to have a lot of colors because it looks really good and the boys like it all colorful. But uh, it's crackling, popping. So I'm going to, when I stir it, I'm going to try to just flip it kind of like a pancake. Because if you kind of like keep stirring, it's going to make your zucchini mushy. And um, I don't like, I don't prefer to have mushy zucchini. Ooh, colors. Yeah. This is always a a good uh, a good win with the family. Yeah. I always like this meal. Whenever she says stir fry, I'm like, all right. And surprisingly, the other boys do too. Gabe's the harder one to our middle child. He's, he's three. He's, he's just in little, that age. Yeah, he needs a little extra cheese or sour cream or nuts <laughs> on top to coerce them to eat it but um they, they'll do good and I mean it's it's good healthy vegetables you know um don't over stir it because it will end up mushy and I don't we generally don't like our red peppers cooked too too much either so I'm going to go ahead and add in my red cabbage it looks so Makes it look so pretty. You want a close up on it? Let's do this close up. And sprinkle that in. It's like a food rainbow. It's... Believe me, if my kids can, can eat all these vegetables and adapt to eating them, yours can too. Because we had we did have to work at it a little bit, but um Uh, if they like more carbs in it, um, you can make some rice um, to go along with it or some noodles, chunks of noodles in it at the end. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited to eat that too? Yeah? You like all those colors? Um, it is possible in a small space. Um, there's a lot of women that have less space than this, but I pretty much used the cutting board and this right here. So if you have just this space, you could do it. But um, and it's quick. Uh, it's very easy, I think, in terms of cooking a healthy meal and completely doable. 
So you can kind of see the um, the purple the purple cabbage is a little bendy, so it's not completely like wilted and um, and it still has a good vibrant color. If you were to cook it any longer, it would start getting losing its uh, vibrant uh, purple color. And I don't, I just don't think it's good to overcook vegetables because they do start breaking down the, the nutrients and stuff. But um, anyway, uh, so this is pretty much good. On the underside, I've let it just not burn, burn, but it's got some flavor to it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and then I can add my chicken in. It's already flavored and just kind of toss it. Just do a gentle toss in it. It's going to pick up him. Do a gentle toss. And then... And there you have it. Oh, you can really see the parsley in it. Parsley doesn't give it too, too much flavor, but uh, it's good. And you can put some, um, for the kiddos, you can put some Parmesan, Parmesan cheese on it. Um, you can put some regular cheese or whatever floats your boat, but it's still a healthy meal. Um, I personally love to load up on the nutritional yeast um, and sometimes a little dab of sour cream, or sometimes I'll just eat it plain, depending on uh, what I'm going for that day, so. <laughs> So it is empty, the skillet is empty. Uh, they pretty much demolished that. And just to recap, it was a handful of broccoli, one zucchini, one squash, a big handful of uh, purple cabbage, a big handful of um, mushrooms, one pound of chicken, uh, one onion, and Oh, and a red pepper. So, uh, and that fed all of us. We don't have any leftovers. Uh, my husband is kind of a bigger eater. He's, <laughs> he's a big guy. Hey, I resemble that remark. <laughs> so, and two kids and I, uh, we, we finished that. So, uh, anyway, so it is completely gone. So, um, if you're needing a couple more servings, maybe add uh, maybe a half a pound of chicken um, and another, you know, a little bit more vegetables. But uh, it was delicious. They loved it. Thank you so much for joining me in making dinner tonight for my family. I hope you really enjoyed it. And uh, if you liked it um, and would like to see more, leave it in the comment below and uh, tell me what other kind of recipes you like to see. Um, and like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.